Hey guys, it's Luigi Guy here with another Premiere Setups video tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over luck perms and why I use it in all of my pre-made servers. So first off, why luck perms? Luck perms is an amazing permission system which still is getting updates to this day. Whereas older permission systems such as Permission ZX haven't received updates since 2016. Luck perms has amazing multi-server support so if you're trying to use bungee cord with luck perms, they work amazing together along with an awesome online editor which allows you to change users or groups quickly and effectively. They also have a great bulk permission system which allows you to do quick resets of your server without removing certain features such as if you want users to keep a gkit or donor rank throughout seasons, it works with that quickly and effectively. The main selling point for me of luck perms is how they handle the default group. With older permission systems such as Permission ZX, when a user joins, it creates user data that says, hey, this is the user's name, and they are in the default group. There's nothing special about them. With luck perms, if there is nothing unique about the user, such as a custom permission or a custom group, then it doesn't create user data because that would be a waste of resources and a waste of server space. So now on to how to use luck perms. I will leave a link to the luck perms wiki down in the description below. However, in this video, I will be showing you how to do some essential things such as changing the names of the groups, changing the colors of the groups, and assigning users and removing users from other groups. So to start off, I want to show you guys how to add and remove a user from a group. So in this scenario, I have gaming OGs as my test account. So let's say gaming OGs has bought a rank and I want to give him the first donor rank. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is slash LP user because we are working with the user. We're going to type in gaming OGs because that's the name. We're going to go group because we want to work with the group of the user. We want to go add and then whatever rank you want to give him, such as in our case, donor one. This now says, hey, he now inherits from donor one. And then in parentheses, it has elder. That is their display name. That way, if you'd like to quickly change the name of donor one without re-deleting and adding the new group, you can quickly do that. Let's say gaming OGs, ooh, he just charged back. We need to remove this rank. Well, how do we do that? So first off, we're gonna go LP user, the name of the user, gaming OGs, group. This time we're not adding, we are removing a group. And what group are we removing? Donor one. He no longer inherits from donor one. Now, just to show you that this is actually working, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add his group back. And we're gonna go slash LP user gaming OGs group list. This shows us he has default and donor. It's important when you're using this command to use add donor one. Do not use set donor one or they will not have default permissions. And default is everyone's permissions such as shop or spawn and you want them to be able to do all those basic commands. All right, so when we're gonna go ahead and remove it again and view and he no longer has that group. So that is how you add and remove a user from a group. But let's say, hey, I don't know what group this guy's in. In fact, I don't know what groups are even on the server. How do I see that? Not complicated. Type slash LP list groups. Sends out all the groups. Here's all the prestige groups. This is A, B, all the way down to Z. The two or the five donor groups. And then helper, mod, admin, and owner. If you want to use any of those, there's the name of the group right there. Let's say, hey, I like all the groups. However, I don't like the color of owner. Hey, I just don't like those curly brackets. I don't like the blue. How do I change that? So here's how we're going to go into the online editor to edit a group. First off, we're gonna use slash LP. Then instead of user, we're gonna work with group. So we're working with a group, so we type in group. LP group, owner. Then all we have to do after that is type in editor says please wait we can go ahead and click on this link and it will take us to the online editor all right so now an owner we see everyone in owner has the display name dot owner which is actually the nickname for the group and the suffix this is what you are seeing in game 
this is the weight the higher the weight that one, one's going to override so if a user had two different suffixes whatever one with the higher number would be the one that shows up in game and here is all the color codes at sign a at sign l which gives it dark gray bold gives it a curly bracket we go b go light blue type in owner at sign a at sign l again to do a curly bracket and at sign e to finish it out now if you'd like to change this you just got to click on it and do something like this change at sign maybe i don't want to be light blue i want it to be yellow go ahead type in at sign e click away click save this is going to give you a command to pop up click on that go to the server and type in that command when that command runs it's going to tell you hey this is what's been changed and all of a sudden i have a new color it is important when you're working with this to try and not mess with the weight of a group this and this both of those are the priority if i were to change that to a lower number then i would honestly show up as a default player instead of an owner so that needs to be where you leave it if you want to change the colors just change anything after this period right there so let's say hey i'm a nice server owner and i trust all my staff i want helpers to be able to ban people well how do i do that so the same thing it is not that complicated you're going to go ahead and type slash lp group because we're working with all the helpers not one helper we're going to type in the name of the group helper and then we're going to go ahead and go editor this will again bring up the online editor we're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to bring us to this tab these are all the permissions that helper has it has a display name which is just how it displays it in game it has a fly it has mute it has a staff use item it also inherits from default it has a custom name there's the custom name this is the one that shows up in tab this is the one that shows up in chat and the weight that's great but they can't ban people I want them to be able to ban people well bans are handled by essentials so we're gonna go ahead and type in essentials dot ban hit enter and it shows up with a little green bar right here it has not been changed in game yet I need to come up here and click on save it brings up another command we're gonna go back to the server type in that command and it says hey we just applied this web editor data and helper now has one edition of essentials.ban. Now my helpers can ban people. There's no need for a reload. There's no need for a restart. Helpers can go now. The same thing could be said if, hey, I don't want my helpers to be able to ban people. How do I remove that? Simple. LP group, because we're working with the group, we're going to go helper editor. Use the online editor for everything hit yes all of a sudden oh I see it essentials.ban I don't want that see a little trash can click on it it's not gone in the server yet though you need to go on and hit save click on that command to copy it and run it in game it now says hey we just applied this data and we removed one essentials.ban now my helpers can no longer ban people well good now I can control my groups and add people to groups, but hey, I just want me to be able to have all permissions. How do I do that? Simple. You might need to do this in console if you don't already have permissions in game. Here's the command you would type in console. LP user, the name of your user. In my case, LuigiCal. Permission set, which sets a permission to true for them, and type in star. Star is a wildcard, it means everything. So this will give me all permissions. I'd hit enter and it should say applied. I already have it. So it's say, hey, you already have this set. But if you didn't have that, this user would now have all permissions. Don't just give that out to anyone because that could really jack up your server. Now, let's say someone such as gaming OGs, I trust them. I want to give them every command and only essentials. How do I do that? Okay lp user because we are working with only one user we're going to type in gaming ogs that is the name of the user and then we're going to go permission set essentials dot star 
Again, star is a wild card, which means anything that start that starts with essentials dot, they'll have essentials dot everything that exists. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and now they have it. And he's now AFK apparently, which is probably because we just gave him the permission to go AFK automatically. All right, guys, that is the basics of luck perms. This by all means is not a comprehensive list of all the features luck perms has. Luck perms is an amazing plugin and with an amazing wiki. I will leave that wiki linked in the description below. So if you have any questions for luck perms, hey, get in there and consult that wiki. It's an amazing wiki. Luck spent a lot of time on it. So it has every question you guys could have. It's definitely in that wiki. If not, hey, you can always contact me on Discord at discord.premiersetups.com. Just make a ticket. I'll be with you as soon as I can. With that being said, guys, if this tutorial did help you, please drop a like. And I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. With that said, Luigi Cal out.